Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meezy69. Welcome back to the second video for today and the second brand new tank in the game. It is the object 452. K. Yes, a Russian tier 9 heavy tank. And look at the size of that gun. That gun is absolutely massive. The tank itself actually looks really, really good. Um, there's nothing, to be honest, there's nothing too special uh, about the tank. You know, it's not one of those super OP tanks. Uh, it's okay. Just like the T-42 this morning, like, yes, this is a tier 9 tank, and most tier 9s come into the game now that are sort of collectibles are, are pretty decent. Uh, but this is okay, you know, I, I, wouldn't, if, I wouldn't want to spend a lot of money to get the tank, honestly, I wouldn't want to spend a lot of money at all to get the tank, because I don't think it is uh, worth that. Um, but, you know, it's a new tank. It is a new tank. So we're going to have a look at the stats and we're going to get into some gameplay for you guys to see. So the turret armor is 215 millimeters. Now it is quite a, a low to the ground tank. Uh, so you should be able to hide a lot of your turret if you are on a ridge. The hull armor, however, is not so strong at just 105 millimeters. Now you do have that lower plate that is very, very weak. Uh, other than that, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to get too many bounces in this tank. Uh, the DPM 2209, nothing special, nothing to write home about. Your reload time is 12.49 seconds. You've got 258 penetration on your AP and 352 on your heat. Now, I am actually running this with calibrated shells uh, because that 352, I think, uh, especially against uh, tier 10, you might need that 352 millimeters of pen. 72 on your HG. You do have a 460 alpha gun, which is very, very nice uh, uh 390 on your heat and a 600 alpha on your hg aim time 4.2 again nothing special not too great same as the gun dispersion at 0 0.353 you do have seven degrees of gun depression with a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour speed's okay gun depression is okay um you know nothing to write home about but seven degrees is all right and just again look at the size of that gun obviously your upper plate is uh, a lot stronger than your lower plate so you do have to try to hide your lower plate now you do have the the hatch as well on top uh it is weak it's not massive um it's not a massive hatch but uh you do have a couple of hatches there that can be uh that can be penetrated so uh let's get into some couple of games now this is one of those tanks um normally tier nine I don't mind. Tier 9 is my favourite tier. Uh, I've said it all along that I absolutely love Tier 9. Um, mainly for the fact that you... In Tier 10, you know, Tier 10 are great. There's some great tanks. But it's the same, you know. It's the same crap. You come up against Tier 9. And the next game, you come up against Tier 9. The next game, you come up against Tier 9. Uh, sometimes you come up against just all Tier 10s. However, with Tier 9s, you've got that variety, you know, you may have a chance, it's very low, that you come up against all Tier 9s, you may have a chance that you're going to come up against uh, 6 Tier 8s, uh, and there's also that chance that you're going to come up against 6 Tier 10s, so it varies, it varies, and most Tier 9s actually do hold their own against Tier 10, which is great, you know, which is absolutely fantastic, um, and then obviously you've got the more, the more damage you're able to get, but this, uh, this tank in particular, it isn't fantastic against tier, uh, tier 10s, but against tier 8s, it does become a much better tank. Uh, so that is what I don't like about the tank. You know, I like some tanks out there, E75, you know, tanks like that, that can hold their own against tier 10s. And it's one of those that I don't mind so much if I keep continuing to get into a game with only tier 10s. However, with this tank, it is one of those that if you do keep getting into games with tier 10, it is very, very frustrating because against tier 8s, it actually performs very, very well. Uh, you've got the 460 alpha, you've got the speed, you've got, you know, you're a very, very low to the ground tank, like very low. Look how low to the ground you actually are. So uh, yeah, it's definitely one of those tanks that performed much, much better against 
tier eight tanks. So nice HE into that rear of that tank there, over 620 alpha. So of course, if you do come to the side of a tank, do try to get that HE out. And another nice 534 normal AP shells. So that is the advantage of having the higher alpha. Instead of having a 400 alpha or a 420, uh, you've got the 460. So you have the chances of doing shots over 500 damage and the, the lower end of the table, you're not going to sort of do below 400 where there are some heavies out there that you might do sort of 360, 340. Uh, but with this being uh, a 460 alpha gun, there's not going to be that often you have a shot that is below the 400. And you will have a few shots that is above 500. So uh, that is the, the plus for uh, the advantage of, of this tank with the higher alpha. Uh, again, the speed is, is not bad. The speed works. It, there's nothing bad about the, the speed. Nothing fantastic. Uh, it's Again, it's just uh, an average tank. We managed to get 3.2k damage there. Uh, but we got that very, 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 very easily. So let's just have a look at one more game here on Middlesbrough. And again, I am top tier. Um, again, yeah, it, it's one of those tanks where you start the game like now. Like, hey, sweet. Half of my team are tier 8 tanks. Uh, I can perform better. Um, it doesn't have that armor profile really to work too well uh, against tier eight. Uh, sorry, against tier tens. But coming up against some tier eights, you know, especially mediums, light tanks, <laughs> uh, heavy tanks, the penetrations in these uh, tiers are not fantastic with some of the the normal heavies. You know, the IS six or the IS five or the any ISs. So you might be able to get more bounces. So uh, overall, it's not a bad tank. Uh, will I try and get it? I, I don't know. It depends how hard it is to get. Uh, I don't know if it's a free tank or if it's actually coming into store. I can't really, uh, can't really remember if it's part of the event or if it's actually coming into uh, stores. Uh, I thought it was coming as a, a, as an event tank, to be fair, with the T42. But uh, if it is an event tank. I don't think you will be able to get it for free, or if you can get it for free, I do think it will actually be a very, very difficult uh, tank to get. But yeah, I, I for one wouldn't be spending a lot of my money to try and get this tank. I just don't think it's worth it, and there are better tier nines out there. Now, I'm not saying that this is an absolutely poor tank. It's not a poor tank. It is all right, again, again, especially against tier tier eights. And if you're able to get the HE damage out, uh, definitely do that, because when you could do sort of 600 plus damage, uh, it does up your DPM, because the DPM isn't fantastic anyway. So if you can, try to use your mobility to get around the tank, and uh, just shoot them with HE because uh, it will be impressive doing over 600 damage. So we're just going to watch the rest of this game now. Three tanks gone. The three tanks that are up here uh, have all gone. Uh, so we've managed to clear uh, this side of the map. Now, I'm not going to go and sit and cap. I'll, I want to get behind this team whilst they are still there. They've not killed any of our heavies that have gone to the city. Uh, so... I'm going to use that opportunity to get to the side of them and uh, try to get some more damage. So I am there now. Again, the speed... <coughs> Excuse me. The speed is okay. Nothing to write home about. It's not a slow tank. It's not an extremely quick tank. It is not a bad speed, to be honest. Uh, it works with the tank. So now, just getting behind this guy, I'm going to get a nice uh, 479 alpha into him. This poor guy, uh, the Eagle, uh, uh, or the E75 TS, uh, no idea why he wants to shoot me a HE. I don't know what he's uh, planning. I don't know what his plan was. I don't know what he was thinking. If he can penetrate me a HE, the armor's not that bad. The armor isn't that bad at all. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. Is it going to be a tank, again, like the T-42? Is it going to be a tank that you're going to try to, to get? Or is it going to be uh, one of those, now nah, I'll pass on this one. For me, it depends on how much I'm going to have to, how much effort I'm going to have to put in and how much money that I'm going to have to put in. But definitely, it, is, it, does, it isn't a tank that really excites me. It isn't a tank that really, really excites me. If I'm able to get it for cheap or for free, then yeah, of course, I will be happy. But yeah, I'm not going to put so much effort trying to get this tank. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the Object 452K. Uh, Let me know in the comments below. But for now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Meaty, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.